Okay, here we have my different soldering tools. So on the left we have my homemade temperature control, and on the right we have the Yihua 937D Plus Variable Temperature Soldering Station. Now the key difference between these is that this is a high voltage iron intended for use with mains powered stuff. Um, I burned out my last soldering iron because it was a cheap one after my good iron got the tip stuck. Um, so I only have a hot glue gun that I use with it anymore. And over here we have a low voltage iron. Now this is a 75 watt heating element that runs off of 24 volt AC. So the key difference there being that this one has a grounded iron tip, so you don't need to worry about anything static, any static buildup. Whereas this one just relied on, you had a goodish, well, reasonably good quality iron. Now the other big difference is the tip. Here we have an industrial iron tip. That's what would go with the Yihua iron. As you can see, I have a pretty big chisel on it right now. I like the heavy duty chisels. And these have a very good quality coating on them. This is the cheapest industrial iron tip I could find. And the one I have on the iron, this is the original one that I put on it when I first got the iron. And it is still going strong. Now, this tip here, a Weller type tip, as you can see, it is a lot smaller. Much lower thermal mass, and so you'll have to wait longer for large connections to get up to temperature. And it's already beginning to erode, even though it's pretty much new. Then over here we have the cheapest of the iron construction techniques, and it's just a copper rod. It doesn't have very good thermal conductivity because it has a poor connection to the heating element, whereas the industrial tip, the heating element goes directly inside it. Now, functionally, we have... This one has a triac which turns on and off on the AC waveform. So if I turn it on and set the temperature low, you can see that it has a temperature readout. And then when it gets up to temperature, you'll see that LED. That turns on when the heating element is on. That's the temperature in degrees centigrade. And now that it's at 200, it's on, off, on, off all the time. Whereas my homemade one, if we go over to the oscilloscope, we can see that the upper half, that's on time, and by turning the knob, you get a variable on time. Now this is operating on a high frequency. I'm at uh, 2 milliseconds per division, and as you can see, it turns off every 4 milliseconds. Unless you have it on the maximum on time. And you can turn it pretty much all the way down, until you've got basically nothing. That'll really save your iron, because you don't need a full temperature all the time, and when I'm using this one, Pretty often I'll just crank it down low when I'm not making a connection. So I highly recommend that you either buy one of these Yihua irons, or if you don't feel quite ready to do that, build yourself one of these. This took me an afternoon to build, and I'm sure you could do a tidier job of it because, well, look at my workbench. I almost needed a shovel to get enough space to do this. You're a tidier person than I am. Let's face it. And, as you can see here, I have my input, um, a fuse, my main bridge rectifier and capacitor, then the MOSFET there, and all my control circuitry I glued in there because it was bumping around and I accidentally shorted it out one time, bad times, um, and then I just have my output. Uh, the Yihua iron, this whole setup, with a whole bunch of extra tips, only cost me $40. Um, and I highly recommend it. Um, because you don't know until you've tried how much better your soldering will become once you have a variable temperature. It is a night and day difference. Um, I highly recommend that you try building one of these. It was a fun project, but uh, if you don't feel like that, then get a good iron. Because this may be a knockoff of the Heiko 888, but it does the job perfectly. And at 40 bucks for a tool that, I mean, this one's lasted me for about six months now, and compared to the price that I was paying in the regular plug-into-the-wall type irons, uh, this is a very good deal. Highly recommend it.